Hello, and welcome to the Book Marketing Simplified podcast. I am Jen Hansen DePaula. And I'm Marcus DePaula. And a few episodes ago, in episode 16 of the Book Marketing Simplified podcast, we talked about when authors should start marketing their book, which is a question you get all the time. But along with that, I've heard a lot of authors ask you the question, well, I haven't even started my book yet. How can I grow my audience if I don't have a book yet? Yeah, many authors feel like they have to have a book to talk about in order to even start social media posts or doing anything. And the beauty of this is, as an author, you need to connect with people as a human being first, rather than as someone who is trying to sell them something. So it absolutely is possible to grow an audience, to connect with people in a genuine way, even before you've hit pen to paper. It's something that can very easily be done. So what is the first step that authors can take? The first step is to have a mindset adjustment. It's to realize that you need to take your author hat off and you need to put your I'm an everyday person (laughs) hat on. You don't need to even let people know that you're a writer quite yet. It's really about making connections. And so that mindset adjustment is a big, big thing right at the beginning of the process because it's going to help you with your perspective and knowing that you don't have to promote and you don't have to talk about a book in order to grow an audience. And I see a common mistake not just by authors, but by anyone trying to use social media purely as a sales platform. Social media is created not as a sales tool, like that's how social media platforms make their money, Yes, but (laughs) it was created first and foremost to help people connect. Well, and I think marketing people looked at social media as free advertising, basically. Right, right. And so it's trying to fit a square peg into a round hole. It's like taking the old way of marketing and trying to apply it to a new way of communicating with people. And it does not work (laughs) when you only use social media As a selling tool, you're not going to get the results that you want. It's like those people on the sidewalk as you walk by in a shopping area trying to hand you flyers (laughs) for stuff that you don't want. (laughs) There you go. All right. So making sure we're using social media to connect with people, not just sell them something. What else can authors do to grow their audience before the book is even written? So something that you'll want to do is to think about the connection points that you have with people. What are your hobbies? What are your interests? What are your life experiences? Because many times the people that we're writing for are very similar to us. When we are thinking about our ideal reader, many times we're holding a mirror up and we see a lot of ourselves in them. So even if you aren't able to clearly identify who your ideal reader is right away, thinking about people that you want to connect with and the connection points that you have and making a list, thinking about, okay, I like gardening. I have three kids that are all various ages and going through all sorts of craziness. I'm homeschooling for the first time. You have health interests that you, you know, you're exercising or or whatever. Thinking about these things that you can connect with people on rather than just promote to them is going to be a much more effective way to not only grow your audience, but to spend your time on social media because it's about connections. Because sometimes it is hard to really identify exactly who that ideal reader is before the book is done. And it might it might adjust. You might have to adjust a little bit. Mm -hmm. And especially if you get into your second and third book, that ideal reader might adjust as well, just like you're adjusting as a human being. Absolutely. But conversely this process might actually help you in writing the book. That is a fantastic point because when you can get interactions and feedback from people and even hearing their life experiences and their struggles, and it doesn't matter if you're fiction or nonfiction, you can learn from other people. So that's a really great point. (music) 
So ideally, as an author, you're somewhere in the process of writing a book. <laughs> <laughs> How can you incorporate what you're working on into connecting with other people even before it's finished? Yeah, I think... One of the biggest struggles that many authors have is that they either don't want to give away too much mm. or they aren't far enough into the process or they aren't really sure what they want to talk about. So there's something that you can always talk about, and that is the themes or the topics that you're writing about. You don't necessarily have to come right out and say, this is what the book is about. This mm. is what I'm talking about. Here's the or, title. <laughs> yes. Or here's a character. You know, like you can talk about things that they're going through or struggles that they're facing. Or you can think about like if you're a nonfiction writer and if you have an, a client that has a problem that you can address, make that into a, a social media post, not naming the, the client, but, you know, <laughs> just kind of using their situation as an example. So there are ways that you can teach people you know, how to do certain things or even start conversations about topics that you're discussing in your book without necessarily coming right out and saying, this is from my book. You can start these conversations. So think about themes and topics that you can talk about. All right. So once you have some things that you know you want to share and you want to relate to your ideal reader on social media, what are some other ways that you can reach out and connect? Well, one of the best things that authors can do is to connect with other authors because the author writer community is one of the most incredible groups of people. They are just the most supportive and collaborative people. And when you can surround yourself with other authors, and we're not talking about like thousands of authors, we're talking about like maybe two or three that you can touch base with that you know you kind of share a similar audience and you can support one another and that's something too where you know like if you can share that your author friend has a book coming out and help promoting that they can do that as well for you and so it's this reciprocal relationship but it's also genuine so connecting with other authors is great and then also connecting with people offline Making sure that you are touching base and getting out into your local bookstores and your libraries, connecting with librarians and letting people know how they can connect with you online and letting them know how they can, you know, support you or follow you on social media. But is equal offline as it is online with growing your audience. So making sure that you're hitting both ends of the spectrum and connecting with people. So is there a make it happen moment for this episode? The make it happen moment for this episode is to take one of these points and just start doing it. Don't feel like you have to do all of them, but start with one and putting it into practice so that you can start to see how this works and you can start to benefit from the growth even before your book comes out because you don't have anything to lose. <laughs> you, really, you, know, you can just start putting stuff out there and seeing what will work. And so really just take one of these points, put it to practice, and let me know which one you're putting into practice because I would love to know what you're doing. Yeah, and we've said before, it's never too late to start marketing. It's yes. also never too early to start marketing. Yes. So the points that we mentioned that you can pick from to put into action are adjusting your mindset so that you are working on connecting with people on social media instead of trying to sell something to them. Making sure you know who your ideal reader is and finding ways to relate to them Another one is coming up with posts based on the themes of your book and then connecting with other authors and not just connecting with them online, but offline as well. Yes. And being a part of the greater author community. Exactly. So pick whichever one you think will be the easiest for you to start with and start making those connections as soon as you can. Yes. And let us know what you're doing and connect with us on social media. I'm always on Instagram. So I would love to hear how you're doing and what you're doing to connect with your readers. Thanks for listening. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye.